On the scene, on the story, this is News 9. The city of Edmond is hoping to cut down on the commute through major traffic changes. This is something yeah. because the construction will apparently also play a role with driverless vehicles. It makes me nervous. I know. Our News Tonight's Carl Torp is on the story in Edmond. The city of Edmond says this technology allows for intersections scattered all through town to be controlled from one spot. The added benefit has to do with autonomous driving. Edmond has 95,000 people. While stuck in traffic, it may feel like they are all on the road. It's getting worse as the days go by. Depending on certain times, I take certain roads in certain areas. There's a plan, though. I typically avoid Kelly. To rid you of some of those trouble spots, Edmund just got done linking more than 20 intersections on 2nd Street to a fiber optic network. If there's an accident or a major event, traffic lights can be adjusted from this room. And you physically had to send a person out there to make that change in a manual manner. According to the city of Edmond, commute times on 2nd Street have already been cut. Here you can see phase two of the project in yellow. Intersections north on Covell and Broadway south of 2nd will come online. But there's a secondary benefit. Edmund wants to be ready for driverless cars when you could have more free time on that morning commute. You're going to have a, a, a change in traffic patterns, whatever that is, whether it's more traffic, less traffic, there's going to be some sort of change and we'll, we'll, we'll have the flexibility to be able to adjust to that almost immediately. In the meantime, I avoid Broadway. Well, there's too many people here that act like they don't have a driver's license. Expect the usual company out on the road. On the scene on the story in Edmund, Carl Torp, News 9.